One essential thing for van life is having ventilation inside, especially when it's hot. The further north I've come, the more I've realized I need cross ventilation going through. So before I left, I already made one fly screen and it means I can have the window down, but no bugs can come in. Today, we're gonna make one for the other window. So we've got some nice airflow and it is the easiest thing. I found it really hard to find something suitable online. And a lot of them were kind of either a bit ugly or a bit like there's excess stuff flapping around or it's not actually very incognito. You know, the ones that slip over the outside of the door and what makes it really obvious that someone's camping there. Whereas this is just a little net on the inside and it makes it really discreet, especially when the windows are tinted. So it looks really neat. So all you need is a roll of gaffer tape Velcro, so self-adhesive tape Velcro, hook and loop, and obviously the fly screen. Let's do it. One other thing you will need is a pair of scissors. This is the only tool you'll need and I'm pretty sure most of you already have this at home. So first things first is we want to make sure this is clean. I'm actually just going to remove this curtain so we can have better access because we don't want dust. It's very important that it has a good stick and it's probably also easiest to do it with the window closed so that you don't have any breeze flapping the um, fly screen. I have a lot of dust on my windows because I am up in the Pilbara region, which is all red, dusty dirt everywhere. It's so beautiful and it's very warm. I'm lucky that uh, there's no smell sensors on this camera. I have showered this morning and put on deodorant, but I feel moist. <laughs> moist. That is the other reason why we want cross ventilation in the van, because we don't want moisture build up when we're in this kind of more humid and hot area. If there's condensation, that will lead to mold. So it's very important to always have windows open, have airflow going. I've got two of these little fans, so I usually have at least one in window open with a fan going um, at most times when I'm inside. This is gonna be epic having two. So good. I think we're clean enough. This way, as you can see, is not quite big enough, so we've gotta go this way. So we're gonna have quite a bit of excess. With these Velcros, it comes in two different reels. So one section is soft loop, and then the other section is the really hard hook. And it's self-adhesive, so you peel the back off and it will stick, it's got a sticky side. So basically what we're doing is putting one sticky side on the window and then the other sticky side on the fly screen and it all just sits together. However, it doesn't stick as well to the fly screen because there are so many holes in the fly screen it just means that there's less surface area for that stick to stick to so if we get the gaffer tape and we create an edging I do an edge on the inside and the outside edge so that sticks together super well and then I put the um, this self-adhesive stuff along that so it's like an extra step but it means that it's gonna stick and it's and it works so we'll just start with putting this soft end all along and we want to line it up quite close to the window but not touching because obviously that window still needs to be able to open. You don't want to stick the window closed. So I haven't even cut this to size. I'm literally just like starting at the end and just going along taking the tape off little bits as I go and just pushing firmly and that's already stuck. Like it is so quick and easy. Did I mention that? You don't want to like cruise around the corner because otherwise it's not going to be completely sealed. So you just got to make sure you're really getting there on those corners. And you can even use the blunt end of the scissors to kind of just make sure it's in there. Next step is we get the hook side. We just stick this all to here, just like normal how Velcro sticks together. And again, making sure you've got enough coverage in the corners. And this is actually quicker than the first step because you're not uh, having to put the pressure on to stick it, you're just letting it touch. Because it's not a uniform shape and this needs to be cut spot on, I start with a lot of excess. Just so I'm not holding this chunk, first I'll cut a rough piece and keep 
enough to make that little weird corner easier to start from the top because then it hangs down. You want it to be flat but you don't want it to be so tight that it's pulling away. So as you do one side, you just got to make sure that the other side is still sitting nicely against that sticky. So this is why you want to make sure that you've got plenty of um, excess. You're not cutting it off at this stage. So because I just pulled that flat, it just made this pop up a bit. So you just kind of want to make sure you're coming in at the window edge and then flattening it out that way. Because if you go from the other way, it can sort of like create that tension. And with the corners, you just want to kind of like fold it in there. It's better to have extra net in there than not enough. See like that, I've got that little extra V. Next step is the gaffer. I don't know how, but it is exactly half the width of this. So I just want to create a little cut, do it by eye, <laughs> and gaffer cloth tape tears. So yes, like so. This has got to match up exactly with this Velcro underneath and make an edge. And we can do this in sections. So we can cut the tape at each corner. So you can see it's already sticking to that other adhesive on the other side really really well so the extra layer that we put on next is just an extra step to really reinforce it and see that is already looking pretty schmicko we'll do the underside of the gaffer so we can do that by just peeling it off this part's scary because it's like oh my god am i ruining it but as long as that gaffer stays just sort of watch it and just make sure that it doesn't come away from the from the fly screen as you're pulling it off so we've got the net off and now we'll just use the other side how we cut this in half so now i'm just going to go through and lay the other side of the gaffer tape which is going to form the other side of this and it's going to connect with that other piece of gaffer tape that we just laid so obviously we're laying it upside down with the sticky side up and we don't really need it, we don't want to ruin the sticky, so we just want to make sure it's like tight, laid down. And when we connect it with the other part, that's when we can really make sure it's like stuck, stuck. So at this stage, we just want to make sure that there's no gaps and just lay it down nicely. Make sure it's in that corner without creating a big sticky mess. When you are cutting it up in several pieces like this, overlap it because it just gives it the extra stick. You don't need to worry about wastage because it's a big roll of tape and again with this corner because I cut the velcro at the corner I'm going to just put another a bit of gaffer that sort of goes across that and seals that gap so that it just creates a stronger connection it's the upside down layer of the gaffer tape so that is sticking to the sticky of the velcro which is stuck to the other side of the Velcro, which is stuck to the door. So we've currently got one, two, three layers going on there. And then I'm gonna connect it to this on there. Moment of truth. You can cut off the excess at this stage. I would still leave a little bit around those corners where it's like the kind of folded part. Just cut it a little bit extra, just so you've got a bit of room to play in case that gaffer has moved but you can see most of it is still stuck on. So I'm confident that where it's stuck, that's where it's gonna be. So I'm just gonna cut along these edges really carefully. Obviously make sure you're cutting on the outside of the tape. If you had heaps of excess, you can wait until when you put it on the window to do this stage. But um, it's harder to kind of get scissors in there on the angle. Just spending that bit of extra time it's funny when I was showing my friend, he was like, did you get that professionally done? I was like, no, I did it DIY with some gaffer tape. And I just felt so much pride that I'd been able to do that. I mean, if you look really close, it's not, but no one's looking that close and stuff like that. We're on the home stretch now. Look at that 
Now just remember which side goes where. Well that is the flat side, so that's going to go on the flat. There we go. Oh, that was close. And now we've just got to line it up. It's going to be easier to start on the bottom and always in the corner. We'll just fold that over so it's like side and bottom. And again, at this stage, we want to make sure it's taut, but I'll wait to the end until I really push it down to enhance that stick, just in case I need to make any further adjustments. <laughs> and that is how you make a bug screen.